Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new safe out. The last one we played as Mastema and we unlocked quite a lot. This time we're going to go as Tainted Mastema, an equally fun character, and try and get some unlocks. Uh, I don't know how much I've done as him. Honestly, we might need to just, like I, I was saying about doing a streak, we might need to just play as some of these, um, some of these modded characters that we don't have a lot of unlocks for. Because there's like, I think, probably, um... The, what's it called? I can't remember the fucking character. The space character. What the hell's he called? Andromeda. We've probably got quite a lot to do for Andromeda as well. But Andromeda and Mastema have some really goddamn good unlocks. Oh, that was a really bad hit. Yeah, there's some really good unlocks that we, that like, we haven't even got close to getting. So maybe we should just, like, blitz through those characters for a little bit and try and get some unlocks. Because, yeah, we unlocked some really good stuff in the last run, and I'm sure there's many other things that are also really good. Lighter, really, really nice. Now, forgive me, but I do not remember at all how this character works. I know it's something to do with broken hearts, but I can't remember. I think it's just that items cost broken hearts, right? Excuse fucking me, did you see that jump that he just made there? Rude. Rude is what that is. We get purple room. Pfft, no. I'm not trading a broken heart for a bed bug. Are you kidding me? I would rather go without. Unfortunately, I'm just noticing now we don't actually have spectral, so... We might have flight, but this is still not super easy to manage. Okay, the shops... How, how do shops work? Shops work normally. Uh, they do still cost us a thingy heart, though. Oop, oop, oop. Ah, I tried to get back and use that troll bomb, but wasn't fast enough. Luckily, this character does start out with good stats and damage and stuff. Oh, God. I need to destroy this fucking thing there. There you go. This is horrible. Oh my god, this is so horrible. Why are these guys in such a small room? I don't understand how they move. It's gross. So this is one of the bosses that we've kept. Anyways, as for the question of the day today, um, what's your favorite cereal? There you go. Basic, simple. I've really been liking Weetabix recently, which I know is like a basic bitch one, but you can customize them so much. Honey, banana. Ooh, good stuff. Good stuff. You're gonna poo out a bunch of fools. And you know, chase me around like a weirdo. With your little hangy tail of honey dropping out your butt. We gotcha. And Whirling Leech does give us a heart back and we lose a broken heart at the end of this floor anyway, so I'll take Whirling Leech. Um, down to the next floor. Not a particularly good first floor, to be honest. Nothing quite like the last room, but we'll accept it for what it is. Why do you start with such low luck as this character as well? Minus 6.66. I realise, obviously, it's the devil number, but... God damn, that's such a low amount of luck to start with. I'm looking for Spectral as well. If I can get Spectral, I'd be very happy. We've got a good bit of keys right now. Yeah, no thank you with your tail bullshit. Nice and easy there. Good, good. Like I said, luckily we do start with okay stats and stuff, so it's even if we don't get good items early on, we're still doing alright overall. Secret room looks to be below there, but I'm not going to gamble with just one bomb. No thank you. Unfortunately, our... Um, Set the world on fire trinket isn't doing so much right now. I was really hoping we'd be able to get a lot out of that. Now, I, I could be um, convinced to bomb this. Okay, one of them did actually set on fire here, this dude. Dude. I, I, I guess I'll take it. Because it's a bit of extra damage. But hasn't been the greatest of stuff. In terms of our item rooms so far. Good. 
good. So 4.75 damage is more damage than we're dealing with our tiers, so... It's pretty good damage from a familiar right now. And also we're not taking anything else, so why not? He's not going to hit all the time is the only thing. These bastards. We do have two bombs now, so I'm willing to put a bomb down on these bad boys, see if we get anything. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Baby Plum. I could go for, what's it called? Um, plum Flute, but I don't think it's that necessary right now. Trying my best to stay out the way of the Detritus. Luckily, she's doing okay attacks right now. She's not doing the bouncy around the room one, which is by far the hardest. Lovely. We get ourselves booster pack here, which isn't great, but could provide us with some nice stuff. Um, crap. Hearts will drop more often. That's good for the next floor. Hierophant, pretty worthwhile overall now. And we'll take the Jack of Hearts to the next floor. Come in here. It's not amazing, but I will take it. Um, and I guess I'll go for you. I'm not going to take on, take both of them on. For one, because I only have one bomb, so I have to fight them both at the same time. For two, not particularly confident in fighting both of them anyways. So let's just go for one for now. That was a really good dodge. Not quite sure how I managed that. But yeah, Earn of Souls basically is... It's kind of like insurance. Basically, if we don't get any good damage ups or like good items, Earn of Souls will carry us. Ooh, I accidentally tabbed out the game there. Uh, Earn of Souls will still carry us a little bit, so it's kind of nice to have. Ooh, we got a confessional there that automatically got blown up. Okay. Not what I was intending, but this kind of worked out nicely. See, the extra damage we can do with this thing is pretty pretty nice. Not what I was intending to happen at all there, but that, that worked out in pretty nice ways. <laughs> Anyways, uh, to the next floor, we'll take this card with us. We'll just go down. We use a Jack of Hearts straight away for more Heart Room Drops, which could translate into Soul Heart Drops, you never know. Uh, we'll do this. Oh shit, there was uh, there was one behind the machine, are you kidding me? I was like, how, wait, what hit me then? Yeah, there was one of those dudes sitting behind the fucking spaghetti machine. Yeah, until we get like good damage ups, Urn of Souls might be the, just the way to go here. I do love Urn of Souls as an item, I think it's a lot of fun. But yeah, it's just very, very good damage output. Um, and you're, you're usually able to keep the ammo economy reasonably well. It's not always, but it does a reasonable good jo reasonably good job of returning the ammo you, you use from it. Extra range is nice. That actually gave us two range that time. Who could believe it? Ooh, I love those hearts. Good. And good, good. Yeah, okay, this is this is working out pretty well so far. I'm really glad I took Air of Souls. In here, we've got nine lives. Um, respawn with one HP removes all red heart containers. That, I think that would mess us up, right? Can't have red hearts. Yeah, that would set us to one heart, I'm pretty sure. And it'd give us two uh, thingy hearts as well, so. Don't think that's worth it, sadly. Which is yet another item room missed. Which is... Not what I'd like to see, but... Hey, her. Ooh, golden petrified poop. That's tempting. That's tempting. But I'm I'm pretty happy with our fire-on-fire fire setup we got going on right now. And although it's annoying, like, and our items are bad, I'm actually kind of okay with where this run sits right now. Because we're, we're getting through it. Let's not waste uh, ammo on all of these guys. We won't get enough back. I'll take a pill right now. Lemon party. 
Ooh, hello. Another pill. I'm drowsy, good to know it exists. Right, where haven't we been here? A little confused. Up? No, we've been up. Down? Okay, down. Huzzah! You managed to leave all your shit on the floor. Beautiful. Lovely bit of extra stuff there. Shall I go and buy blanket? Blanket's probably decent. I think it's up this way. Uh, up to the left, then up, right? And up this way. Buy blanket. Blanket's an extra soul heart, plus, obviously, gaining the... Um, What's it called? Holy Mantle uh, for every boss. It's not insanely good, but considering we didn't get an item this floor from our item room, I think it's fine for us to take. One of those, thank you. Nice. This guy we're going to have to use a lot of ammo on, but it'll be worth it. We will get a lot back from killing him as well. We used all of our ammo on this guy, unfortunately. We'll, like I said, we'll get a decent amount back. Jesus Juice is good. We'll take Jesus Juice. Uh, actually, let's not take it yet. Let's go in here first and see. Yeah, Holy Light, 100% we're taking. Um, and uh, do you know what? I'll take a Jesus Juice as well. Plus, our, our health in a bit of a wacky spot. I won't say wacky, but you know what I mean. It's not an ideal spot. Uh, only thing with Holy Light is that um, we do have insanely low luck, which means it's not going to proc very often. But I don't believe minus luck affects it. I think zero luck and minus luck is effectively the same thing when it comes to, um, like, luck affected items, I think. We'd have to think about it for now anyways, because we're still going to use that Urn of Souls. I feel like until we get a, a good f another few items that, that work in our favour, we're going to be keeping, keeping using Urn of Souls, really. Just makes more sense. Yeah, you see, we are still firing holy light shots here and there. So I, I don't don't believe having minus luck really affects us too much here. I'll hold on to an I'm drowsy, just in case. Oh, fucking stupid crab bitch. Fuck off. I hate the crabs. The worst enemy in the goddamn game. That heart back, lovely. Good old Holy Light coming in there. Very, very nice. Triple shot does make Holy Light slightly better as well, because it's triple the chance to hit it. Milk is just fucking awful. Yeah, our item rooms have been really, really bad this run. Like, I, I, it's kind of insane how bad they've been, to be honest. Oh, as if that hit me. God damn it. Hey, Baleful Heart. It's nice. Check in here for a Soul Heart. Thank you. Toy Drum in there. Nice, but not for two, um, for two Broken Hearts. It's a bit of a high cost. Especially with the amount of Broken Hearts we're on right now. With the amount of Broken Hearts we're on right now, we kind of need to take a break from taking items. At least a little bit. Can't just take everything that comes our way. You guys are annoying. Beautiful. I love the fact that the ghost from the um, from the baleful heart just destroys all the shots straight away. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I, th I think this is doing a good amount of damage, but I think this is better. Yeah, this is still better. Speedball, don't particularly care for. Uh, we don't have another syringe either, so it's not super worthwhile for the next floor. This character's definitely a little tricky. Definitely a little tricky. You've got to really uh, play carefully. Um... This is 
probably one we can uh, play around with here. Stone chest, if I could just coax you over this way. Get myself a half decent active item there, but unfortunately, there ain't no way I'm trading what I have right now. This, this unfortunately wasn't particularly worthwhile. In fact, no, I, I'm not going to full card out because I want my drowsy pill. I want my drowsy pill. Oh. Good stuff. And we got a room reward out of it. Yeah, Notched Axe is pretty good. I actually really like Notched Axe, but in a situation like this, where we've already got a really good active item, just not quite worth. Pill I will take, once again. This is definitely a pilly run for me. I don't know why. This, this I think it's just because I got less items, so I want to try and get stats out of pills. Obviously, if I lost stats from pills, that would be pretty devastating, but... I love rooms like that when you've got flight. <laughs> they're meant to be quite difficult, and it's like, nope, they're a joke to me. Good. Let's put the thingy away for a little bit and gain some, uh... Bloody... Ooh, hello. That was unexpected. Not that I need the hearts, unfortunately. Dude, this, jo <laughs> this rock just keeps regaining. I can't... <laughs> I need to... Rock, please stop. I need to get this button. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. Dude, this rock keeps regaining. I need this rock to fuck off. There you go, finally. There you go. Oh <laughs> my god. Annoying. Enemies that come close to you become crippled. Your tears can also cripple them. Crippled enemies lose their speed over time and die after 12 seconds. When crippling enemies die, they release a fountain of slowing black tears. That sounds kind of interesting. I'll take that. Oh, bloody hell. I was not expecting that at all. Right. We got two broken discs. Lots of champion belts. Seen that item room. I think we're good to go. There's a tinted rock back there. I've got blue fire too. My blue fire's better than yours. You're not dead? What the hell? Dude. <laughs> there you go. This one doesn't cost us anything for some reason. Guess I'll take it. Ooh, Zealot Heart. Nice. We've got a devil deal here, which we've been getting angel deals recently. So it's a little annoying to get a devil deal, but there you go. My shadow. Oh wait, there's a thingy room in here. One second. I always, I forgot that you get like the, the sanguine thingy in these. And they get rid of broken hearts. I should have been going devil deal this whole damn time. Did not mean to pick that up. Whoops, that didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Okay, I kind of forgot about the whole sanguine thing that goes on in there. Completely forgot about that. My bad. Should have been playing to the strengths of that a little more actively. Right, okay. I think we're still good to go, though. Health is actually looking okay now. I should maybe find my shop, potentially. Although I could potentially make a boss rush at this stage. So let's, uh, let's go for it and try and make boss rush. Although I don't know if we're equipped for boss rush, to be honest. Yeah, look, we're, we're like... Fucking hell. Holy shit. This is quite the room. This is overwhelming. Lovely. Shouldn't really be doing this if I'm trying to get make a boss rush, but... 17 minutes. We've got, we've got time. We're fine. We're fine. Still need a few more damage ups. We got my shadow here as well, by the way, so 
We'll try and take advantage of that where we, wherever we can. Good, good. I'm liking this crippling thing we got going on as well. That's nice. Lovely. Another pill we haven't seen before. That's a health up. Beautiful. Pills have been good for us thus far. Item rumor, item room. How are you today? We get quad shot here, which is probably pretty good to, to go with. Um... Take us some quad shot. Beautiful. 18 minutes now. Of course we've gone the fucking wrong way. That's totally what I wanted. God damn it. Okay, we have to really speed through these next few rooms. I want to make Boshra because I've got this I'm Drowsy pill and it'll be it'll be pretty easy. Dude, oh, the room's not done. Ah, shit, 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 shit. Is this the enemy that doesn't die? I don't know. Okay, I was thinking of the wrong one. Right now, I'm wasting my fire like crazy, but... Oh, dude. What's with the fucking stupidly long rooms? No, thank you. Okay, good, good, good. I think we're going to make it. We've got a, a, a minute to kill the boss. I think that's enough. All right, go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. More than enough time. Lovely. Um, we're going to take this here. Then we've got a minute to check this out. Um... Probably take this, yeah. And then... I get... Lost Soul's probably better, but there's no way I'm going to keep it alive. One second. Yeah, I'm not really sure if we should go for Lost Soul or not, because I like the idea of Lost Soul, but I don't think I'm able to keep it alive. But Dogtooth's good, but it's like... Eh, I'm going to take Lost Soul and just try it out. But yeah, I don't think I'll keep Lost Soul alive in here. I very highly doubt that. I don't know if we'll be able to upgrade this Polaris in this boss rush, but I'd really like to. Oh god, that, that thing jumps? Okay, I didn't realise that. Okay, that's that dead. Get some fires going, but yeah, obviously I'm drowsy here helps a ton. I'm trying so hard to keep my buddy alive here, but it's just not going to happen, is it? Not with Gish chasing us like he is and jumping around all over the fucking place. Die, Gish. Stop jumping. You big fuck. Thank you. Little monster. We got Polyphemus as well. Polyphemus isn't too bad. But yeah, if I can upgrade Polaris while I'm in here, this will be pretty good. Otherwise, it's not going to be ideal. Also, I'm not sure how good Quad Shot is for us right now. I think without a fire upgrade, Quad Shot maybe wasn't the choice to go for. I'm hoping we can just hit a lot of um, Holy Light shots here and there, and that'll do as well for damage, but. Not looking super promising right now. Oh, Polaris can level up. Okay, this is good. This is good. But right now we've got 2020, which works weirdly with quad shot. Doesn't work the way you'd expect. Okay. 
Taking your arm out of any of these? Okay, one of them there. And that one. And that one. Oh, God. Drowsy's just making this go so slowly. It's funny. It's so calm compared to what Botrush is normally like. Oh, this bitch. All my motherfuckers hate this boss. Okay, good. He's gone. The annoying boss is gone. Good, good. Basically, let's do a few rounds with our shots and a few rounds of the fire, then a few rounds with our shots. To rebuild the ammo. Okay, don't create too many poops. I'm pretty sure when he dies, the poops disappear anyways. Unfortunately, we don't have any bombs to get him to eat. Should be way more ideal for us. Okay, I've got a lot of uh, fires ready now. So next way we can start using fire. <laughs> it's just weird how slow and calm this is. I'm drowsy, so fucking funny. Nice and easy does it. Can you stop moving, please? It'd really make my day if you'd stop moving. Oh, dude, I hit that guy with the goddamn charges. I, I completely forgot I had my shadow, I'll be honest. Oh, you bitch. That attack is such horse shit, and you motherfucking know it. Oh, Kingpin as well. My soul buddy is gone because of that absolutely BS attack. The, the, any, any boss that can do that, like, quake the ground attack, I hate. <laughs> What is going on with Kingpin here? Why is he split up into, like, loads of tiny segments? Also, I lost my Polaris bonus now because I got hit. Okay, it leveled up again. It leveled up again. Can you guys please just stop being the worst boss to ever exist? Find a way to be normal. Ugh, he's so slow. Just come out the ground. Luckily, with this guy being slow, I could just kill him before he could do anything. That's pretty nice. Oh, we got another Polaris level up. Pla this, 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 blah, 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 blah. This level up is just a bunch of extra damage. This is really good. Good, good. My fires don't benefit from that damage, though. <laughs> My god. <laughs> This is so funny. It's like playing the game in like complete slow motion. And gulp him in fire before he even gets off a single attack. But this guy's gonna move and groove around all over the fucking place, isn't he? Stop moving, bosses. God damn it. Okay, this is a boss we should be using the fire on because we'll get a ton of souls back. And it kills him real fast. Oh, nice. Thanks for that kill. Do we have their uh, brimstone now? Oh, we do. But we have... Z okay. Unfortunately, Polaris has ruined us because we have 0 0.38 brimstone. I mean, the damage is obscene, I'll say. But goddamn, the fire rate is real bad. Okay, that damage is absurd. It's so good. But yeah, that... Fire rate is very, very upsetting.
suppose what I can do is I can like fire one brimstone and whip out the urn. If I don't finish them off sort of thing. Oh, I didn't see you there, you cheeky fucker. Ah, we did it. And fucking gave us the dusty D10. Why? Anyways, we got through Bosch Rush. It took a long time, but we got there in the end. My goodness. My goodness indeed. Okay, so we were back to firing like normal now by the looks of things. Oh, no, no. We got our brimstone back. Okay, now we're back to firing like normal because I got hit. That was very confusing. game has confused me deeply. Yeah, this run ain't too hot. This run ain't too hot, I would I would say. On a hotless hotness scale, I'd say this run is a like a like a 3 out of 10. I could be friends with this run. I couldn't bang this run. Why? How? I was behind the rock, you fool. You devilish fiend. How dare you? It was just so evil. I'm just annoyed that so many of my item rooms. I had like four item rooms that were just absolutely garbage. Good, extra soul heart, gotta love that. Star power, go! Fire should be good against you, because can't I can't really miss. Oh, it can also destroy your shots too, okay. Very good. Last eye. It is damaged, so I'm gonna take it, even though it puts our health in a pretty shitty spot. Right, down we go. Oh, goddamn. Ah, for fuck's sake, the laser got me. I'll lose a bunch of damage for that one. My damage is so bad. I wasn't aware of the goddamn laser. This doesn't feel like it's going to be a win. <laughs> Let's put it that way. This, this run does not feel like a winning run right now. Uh, why is this guy unkillable? Um, what? I think I've got a champion charger somehow. Oh, I do. Yeah, okay. So, the... the, the... Dude, he killed my guy again. The curse that I've got has ch changed my charger into a champion. Oh, dude. This isn't even the right fucking way. Just just kill me now. I'm I'm so done with this run now. <laughs> I went through all that to fucking complete boss rush and I'm I'm just I don't care for this run in any way shape or form right now. <laughs> let me let me perish. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to just roll this back and do another recording as this character. So two episodes back to back as this guy just because I like him and I feel like that run was just just unforgivably terrible. Um, and I now understand that devil deals are far more valuable. So, either way, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.